Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily Freibler. So today's video, I'm going to be sharing all of my favorite nude lipsticks, lip liners, and glosses. I've talked about a lot of these before, but I wanted to have a compiled list for you guys so I can kind of reference my favorites um, and show you guys what those are. Um, if you want links to any of these products that I'm mentioning, um, there will be one link to a blog post where I refer to all of these lipsticks, which is is going to be compiled right there. So it's nice and easy for you guys to reference later as well. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay, so let's start off with a lip liner. Lip liners are, in my opinion, one of the most critical things when it comes to any lip. Um, but I do have two favorites. They're both from Milani. They are well loved as you can see, but these are in the shade nude and all natural. Um, they're very, very similar in shades. One's just a little bit more brown and one's a little bit more pink. So when I am looking for a lipstick shade, most of the time I lean towards the like pinky side of things. Um, I do have a few in here or maybe one or two that are a little bit more mauve, but for the most part, most part, when I'm looking for a nude lipstick, it's more on the pink end or even like the little bit orangier side. Um, so a little warmer versus a little bit more cool, if that makes sense. It's so funny because nude lipsticks like they're all gonna look similar, but they do come off different. And it kind of depends as well on your skin tone, like what your undertone is and all that kind of stuff. If you have a very warm skin tone, something with a slight mauve undertone might look really mauve on you or really purpley on your lips. Um, so it's just kind of something to be aware of. But lip liners are so important in my opinion because it really gives a map out of your lips. That's like basically what it's supposed to do. Help with bleeding um, outside of the lip line and it just kind of defines that area. Although these aren't very dark, they do help just like define your lips as well. If you want um, a more full looking lip, a lip liner is the way to go. You don't even have to really overline your lips to get that nice defined lip line, um, but you could slightly overline your lips and just create nice plump looking lips. Lip liners are my favorite. These are two of my favorite. Um, I also love CoverGirl Caramel Nude, but I don't have the, that one with me. I actually haven't used it in quite some time. I have I was on a real caramel nude kick there for a while. But these are the two lip liner shades. Um, the top one is all natural and the bottom one is nude. So the one that's um, nude is, this one is nude. This one's all natural. So nude is definitely a little bit more pink. That is my go-to shade um, compared to all natural. They are both very well loved, but nude is the one that's a little bit more stubby. So I definitely need to pick up more. Um, for the longest time, I didn't love lip liners that had like to be sharpened, but you know what? It's a really good lip liner. It stays put. It's creamy without being too creamy. And I do like that I can actually sharpen it up. Um, so I just keep this little sharpener in my like uh, possession at all times near all my makeup so I can make sure to sharpen it. Um, and I like this one too. I don't know where I got this to be honest, but try and find one that has like a little casing so that the shavings don't go everywhere in your makeup bag and you don't have to be by like a trash can or something. So like if I was on the go and doing my makeup in the car or something, the shavings aren't gonna get everywhere if I do need to uh, sharpen my lip liner. So lip liner is essential in my world, I guess, of lips. Okay, so let's go on to what I'm actually wearing today, which is something that I've loved for years and years and years. I heard Desi Perkins talking about this, which she has a lot different of a skin tone than me. It's a lot like olivier and warmer than I have, um, and it looks beautiful on her. I think it looks beautiful on so many different skin tones. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. I used to wear this all the time, got away from it, you know, and then started wearing it again. Um, and this is probably the orangiest of all of the nude lip shades that I would share with you guys. It's like undertone is probably more on the pinky orange side of things. Um, so that's what it looks like just swatched on my hand. Obviously, I'll show it to you with the lip liner on as well, but 
I love this one as well. You just got to make sure that you don't put too much on. What I like to do is just put a little bit on and kind of like push my lips together and then kiss my hand and then you won't have too much because this does dry matte and it is transfer proof after a little bit if you don't put too much product on. Um, I think that's like the biggest tip if you are gonna wear a matte lipstick, don't put too much product on. Make sure it's the thinnest application possible while also being more opaque. Um, so this one is one of my favorites when it comes to something that's not drying as much, but it is more matte. So if you're looking for like a kiss proof one, this one's great. Um, like I said, just make sure it's a little bit lighter of an application than some of the other ones that I'm suggesting. Suggesting. So on the same um, standpoint of kind of more kiss proof, but still hydrating and nice, like I've kind of gotten away from all of the really like matte liquid lipsticks. That was such a phase there for a while, but now I'm like back into regular lipsticks, glosses, and a couple of them that are kiss proof, but I only, again, I'm gonna mention two today. So this is the second one. This one I was obsessed with last summer. I fell in love with it and wore it nonstop. This is Physician's Formula, the Healthy Lip in Vel the Healthy Lip Velvet Finish in the shade All Natural Nude. This one is definitely a lot more pink comparatively, which I love about it. I love, like I said, a pinky nude and it is beautiful, you guys. The velvet word is so fitting because it does like have that not completely matte look on your lips. Um, again, with this one too, make sure that you're applying a thinner layer because it isn't like the complete matte lipstick that some of us knew from like, you know, three years ago or so. It's definitely not gonna be transfer proof at the beginning, but if you like kiss your hand a couple times and just wait for it to dry, it will dry down and you will be good to go and it won't like wear off a lot throughout the day such as some of these lipsticks. Um, such a good lip and again, I've worn it so many times in the past. Here's another comparison in these two, the Sandstorm, or I mean not Sandstorm, um, London liquid lipstick is, or soft matte lip cream is definitely a lot lighter than the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Lip as well as the other one's a lot more pink. So you can tell the difference there. Okay, and then this one is going to be from Wet n Wild. This is the shade Send Nudes in their Liquid Cat Suit High Shine Lipstick. So I have in the past loved their regular liquid lipsticks, but this one is the High Shine one, again, one of my classic favorites that I wore over and over and over again around last year. So, so good. So this one is a mix between a lipstick and a gloss. So it's very glossy on the lips. It is definitely very opaque. And I would say this one is like your perfect nude. If, you, if I'm gonna grab something and I'm like, that is my nude, this is what I would reach for. Um, it definitely is a lot closer of a match to the Physicians Formula one, but it is a little bit lighter and a little bit more neutral compared to the Physicians Formula one. Still very pink, but it definitely is more neutral than say the London one, which is a lot more orange undertones. But I love this one too because it has the staying power of more of a liquid lipstick just because it is so opaque. It's definitely gonna rub off like way quicker than a matte liquid lipstick, but it looks so beautiful on the lips. Stays put for a really long time and again has that nice shiny look so your lips look nice and hydrated and plump and I love this one. It's so, so good. One more and then I'm gonna get into four different lipsticks that I've loved and talked about a lot. So this one is newer to me. This is like a summery lipstick. If I just want something that's like not wearing a lot of makeup, not wearing any makeup maybe, or am wearing a full face, this is what I would grab in the summertime. It's ultra hydrating. This is the Physicians Formula Muru Muru Butter um, Lipstick, or I don't even know if it's called a lipstick. It doesn't really say. In the shade Soaking Up the Sun. This is literally the perfect color for the summertime in my opinion. This one's definitely more like a balm, but it does have a lot of pigment to it as well. 
So this one, again, is very similar to the others. I would say it's the best cross color wise between London and one of these pink ones. It's like right in the middle there, a little bit more orangey, a little bit pink, and this is just so, so hydrating. I like topping this on anything. Um, this is also great because it has SPF 15 in it, and it's just ultra hydrating, kind of like a lip balm, but it has more color to it, which again, I really liked in the summertime. And then now we're gonna get into lipsticks, and then I'll go into the glosses. So let's start with an OG, something that I wore all through college when I was first getting into makeup. And you guys, if you've been following me for a really long time, I wore this nonstop. This is the shade Nude Cream from, or Nude Creme from Milani. This is gonna be a very pink uh, lipstick. It's more pink than anything, but I really like it paired with more of a natural like lip liner. So I would pair this with the lip liner all natural from Milani versus nude just because it has a little bit more of a neutral undertone. Um, so yeah, this is the pinkest of them all in the lineup here, but it is so good. If you want a good lipstick, I highly recommend Milani lipsticks. They are very opaque with like one swipe. They just stay put really well. They're beautiful on the lips. Like Milani lipsticks are the way to go. And of course, I love their lip liners as well. And you will see, I do love their glosses too. I have a couple of those to share with you guys. So in the lip department, I would highly recommend Milani when it comes to the drugstore. These are all drugstore lipsticks, but they're so, so good. So yeah, definitely one of the pinkiest of the bunch, but it's just so flattering on so many skin tones and it's just, oh, it's so, so beautiful. Okay, and then another one I talked about so much is Champagne from the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lipsticks. This was my go-to for so long. It's like, this one is almost done. I need to get a new one. Um, but these are my favorite lipsticks because they are a little bit more like glossy and hydrating than the Milani one. The Milani one does go on beautifully. It has great like color payoff and all that kind of stuff. But these are like ultra, ultra hydrating. These, um cream formulas from the Exhibitionist line from CoverGirl and they're just beautiful on the lips. So this one is again one of my perfect nudes because it does have that like orangey undertone but it also has a pink undertone. So these are kind of like my favorite color palettes. Again like I said I try and stick to a lot of ones like this because I think they are the most flattering on my personal skin tone versus something that's more mauve. So these are the kind of the shades that I lean towards even though these all look so similar, they do come off different on the skin and I, or like on your lips, I guess, on your face with all different makeup and stuff. So I kind of lean towards different ones for different occasions. Like London is definitely gonna be more towards fall time because it does have that more orangey undertone. Um, I wear these all year round, but you know, just for reference, like nude, um, what is that called? Nude cream, I think. Yeah, nude cream from Milani, that pink one beautiful in the springtime and the summertime with it, where you just want that like a little bit more vibrant pink color. Beautiful. Okay, two more lipsticks. These are when I want to have a center lip shade. Does that make sense? I never wear these two on their own. I always pair it with a lip liner kind of all over the lips and this in the center and usually with a gloss over top. But these are are crucial in my opinion if you want to lighten up a shade of lipstick a little bit or put something in the center to really make your lips look full and juicy. Um, just want something a little bit more nude than some of these. I can add one of these on top to just lighten it up if that makes sense. So the first one is going to be 650 Nude Embrace. This is a matte formula from M uh, Maybelline. <laughs> I was gonna say Milani. Maybelline. And this one is... Hold on, let me swatch both of them because I can't remember which one's which. I think this one is the most um, purpley undertone that I'm going to talk about. Yeah. Okay, so Nude Embrace is this one right here, which definitely has more of a purple undertone. So if I'm looking for something that I want to be a little bit more mauve and put that in the center, that's kind of the one that I gravitate towards. It doesn't look like it's that much lighter, but I mean... I still think it is, um, but I love popping this one in the center of the lips. So then the next one by it, let's see if I can even do this. 
I gotta put it in a different spot. Okay, the next one is Beige Babe 545. I think maybe I got this because Jaclyn Hill talked about it. Um, this one definitely has more of a pink undertone, but it's like a lot more cool, if that makes sense. It still doesn't have that like orangey undertone as much as the other one. So this one is uh, Beige Babe. And that one is Nude Embrace. So those are the two that I kind of like to put in the center of the lips. Or if I'm looking for something that is a lot more like neutral nude, that's what I go for versus something that's more pink and orangey, if that makes sense. Okay, I have three glosses to talk about. If I'm going to wear a gloss, these are the three I turn to. So when it comes to wanting something to be a little bit more mauve -y, I go for Soft Rose by Milani. This one is their Keep It Full Lip Plumper. So, so good. So I put this a lot of times. This one, this one also is more opaque than some of the other ones. Um, so if I want like a mauve gloss, that's kind of what I'd go to. And I can put it on top of any of these other ones just to kind of like tone them down and make it a little bit more neutral. But I love these Keep It Full Lip Plumpers because they are a little bit more on the opaque side. So I could literally just wear this with a lip liner and be good to go. And it lasts like a really long time for a gloss because it does have so much pigment to it. From also that same line, the Keep It Full one, this is in the shade Champagne. So, so good. This is my classic gloss. If I want something super pinky and like neutral, peachy, this is what I go for. Oh my gosh, it's so peachy and beautiful. So comparatively, they're like completely different. Look at how peachy that is compared to Soft Rose. This is Champagne and Soft Rose. Also, I love that the Champagne one has a little bit of flex of like glitter to it. They're so, 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 so tiny though. So you can't feel them on the lips, which is awesome. And the best thing about these is you only need like a tiny bit because they are so nice and opaque, but you can still kind of see the color underneath. And then my other favorite one is Champagne Glam from e.l.f. This is their lip plumping gloss. All three of those say lip plumping gloss, but they're not like intense. They're not going to make your um, your lips feel like they're on fire. They're just a little bit of like plump to them. So yeah, this one is also called Champagne. This one isn't as um, pigmented as the Milani one. And it also has a little bit more like uh, shimmer throughout it. But again, they're so, so, so tiny that you can't even really tell. So these, that one is Champagne Glam from e.l.f. Again, just a little bit different than this one, but some of my favorites. So these are all of the lipsticks and lip glosses, lip liners that I love. I can't get enough new lipsticks, to be honest. And like I said, some of these I've been wearing for years and years and years, and I still love them and reach for them all the time. So if you ever need a new lipstick, definitely come to this video, and I hope that you find something that you love. If you have a new lipstick that you love from the drugstore that you think I should try out, please leave it in the comments down below because I would love to try something new. I'm always looking for new li new lipsticks. Or if you love a lip liner, a gloss, whatever it may be, please leave it down in the, the description below. And I will um, see you guys in the video very, very soon. Bye, guys.